First up, at UFC 296, we have Randy Brown taking on Muslim Salikov. Randy Brown, 17-5 and five overall. He's 4-1 and one in his last five. He's coming off a straightforward win over Wellington Terman. He's taking on the Muslim Salikov, 19-4 overall, 3-2 and two in his last five. He's coming off that loss to Nicholas Dalby. Muslim Salikov, one of the uh, handful of 40-year-olds on this card. It's quite the uh, epidemic going on. And I do have a parlay, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But Randy Brown, this guy's a very good striker. He's long. He uses his range well. He's ridiculously tall for this weight class. He's 6'3 as a welterweight. He uses his long jabs. He uses his long kicks to keep you at range. And then when he's ready, he's going to use that speed to initiate some real boxing exchanges. He does have some takedowns. He has nine in the UFC. And while he doesn't go to them often, he'll have some trips and some good jujitsu to back it up. And I mentioned he's coming off that win over Wellington Tournament where I felt, I think Jacob thinks he lost that fight. I felt like he controlled the striking and he had two of his own takedowns against who was supposed to be the better grappler. He's taking on Muslim Salikov. This guy, the king of kung fu. That's not how Woo! he fights. That's not like it's it's oh. a bizarre... Oh. What? What? I, I, inter I interrupted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is going to be a painful breakdown. This is like, Think about what happened, guys. Last week, he interrupted me far too much. This week, I said, do me a favor. I'm good with the banter. That's what makes us us. That's the reason we're growing at the pace that we're growing. Just don't do it in the middle of the breakdown. And then now it's a whole show of him not interrupt. Like what a joke. It's, it's like dealing with a child. It's like nailing jello to a wall. It is impossible. It is impossible to keep you in line. It's unbelievable. You can't nail jello to did a wall. You, you think <laughs> no, about did it. you? It's not something anybody can do. Did you just make that up? That's a saying. I've never. That's you know what a else is a really, I like that. You, here's an awesome saying. Now I'm the one. Here's an awesome <laughs> saying that an older guy at work said to me, and I'm gonna. It was incredible. I uh, I had to for work. I had to go to California last week. I had to visit a client, and before I got there, like 15 things went wrong with this client, and that's always how it goes. Right before you're gonna visit with them, like everything breaks. So I was like recapping to this guy at work. I'm like, this happened. That happened. That happened. And then this is the saying that he, this is what he said to me. I didn't three, know it was three the saying, mops. But, three mops broke. We couldn't get the four, floor cleaner mixed. First of all, even if I was a janitor, that's honorable work. So I don't know why you thought that was funny because it's not. Second of all, so I went through everything that didn't go well. Yeah, now who's the man of the people? And this is what he said to me. He goes, other than that, how was the show, Mrs. Lincoln? I thought that was an incredible line. Get it? Yeah, oh, see, I, I knew so. I, I, you're a joke. You're a joke. You're you're an absolute joke because it's a funny line, and you're gonna yeah, pretend I said that, that it's stupid. Can, no, I, I literally laughed. I said that too. Oh, you said I that again. Ready. I was like, yeah, I was ready Abe Lincoln. Oh, yeah, oh, other than him getting shot in the head, how was how was the show? <laughs> Just yeah, it's a good one. No, that is pretty good. I might yeah. now that we now that we live in Texas, I might adjust that. Other uh, than that, how was the car ride, Mrs. Kennedy? Yeah, uh, his, her husband's are head of American blown heroes, off. but I mean, so. <laughs> oh anyway, he's taking on Muslim Salikov. Muslim Salikov, the king of kung fu. You would imagine this guy's like this wild striker doing Jean Claude Van Damme jump spin kicks, all that stuff. That's not how that guy fights. He is a solid striker, though. He does hit pretty hard. He also has some wrestling if he needs it, hanging out in his back pocket. He holds nothing back. Almost every single strike he throws is a significant strike. And his takedown defense is actually pretty solid. He is coming off that loss, though, to Nicholas Dalby, where they traded some takedowns, but Dalby's pressure was just way too much. Muslim, a few years ago, might have been the pick. I would have thought about it. would have really considered it. The guy's got that unorthodox striking. He hits pretty hard. He's got some wrestling. But I, he's almost like a Brazilian from the Fafellas. He might be lying about his age because he looks far older than 39. He's slowing down at an incredible pace. Nicholas Dalby just straight up outworked him. And I think Randy Brown's going to do more of the same. Randy Brown had some issues with Jack Della Maddalena, but Muslim Salkov is not Jack Della Maddalena. I think Randy picks him apart, beats him up. Um, Randy's going to be the pick, and I do have an anti-40 parlay, and Randy is one of those legs. What do you think, Jakey boy? Uh, yeah, I mean, Randy Brown is is the better fighter in this matchup. And I agree, if, if this was the king of kung fu, was a little bit younger, a little bit more spry, this would be an interesting matchup. And I think this still has an opportunity 
to be an interesting matchup because if Randy Brown comes in and like you said the Wellington fight I think that it was a kind of a back and forth I actually thought that Wellington might have won that fight but Randy Brown definitely had his moments in the fight it's not like he was like completely overwhelmed or anything like that because he is a long rangy guy that knows how to use his length is capable on the ground as well either as sweeps uh, defensively or with his offensive grappling as well but if he comes in and has the mindset of I'm the better fighter I'm fighting a 40 year old I'm the 250 whatever favorite I'm gonna smoke this guy it's gonna be no problem there could be instances where this turns into a close fight because Muslim for how old he is he does throw some wild shit. I mean, he throws the spinning kicks, the spinning head kicks, the wheel kicks, and he is pretty still fast doing that. Pretty still fast. He is pretty fast still doing that. Was that a good, was that did that one make sense? You you you're like rambling. Go ahead. He is still athletic for his age, <laughs> unlike my co-host, and I think that he could be able to find something against Randy Brown, but Randy Brown should be the play. He should have all the tools to beat a 40-year-old guy like Muslim, but if he comes in and takes it lightly, Muslim still got some shit that he can throw, but Randy Brown's a play. I don't know if I trust him enough for, like, my what's the line? Flip back, please. Minus 250, 230, 240, 260. 260, 233. I think 175 was a great line, so I get why it got pushed to 260. I think 260 may be like a... It's like correct. A, it's a correct line. I mean... Yeah, but I don't know. If, I don't know if I trust Randy Brown enough for the not quite three to one favorite. What are the implied odds on that? Hold on one second. I'll t I'll oh, tell you how that translates. Here we go. Let's see. Not that a mathematician. I am. Let's see I that Connecticut up. public education. I mean, it's in the top three schools in the planet. <laughs> Sweet hoodie, bro. Isn't? Thank you so much. Oh, did sorry. You, uh, I, how did you? <laughs> I can't imagine from. how that neck ripped out. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're jacked, <laughs> yeah, you don't quite fit. Let's see <laughs> yeah. that Adam's apple again. I mean, I, I actually have one. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Let's minus, <laughs> minus 260. Where are we? Hold on. Minus 260 means the implied I mean, odds 72%. are 72%. 69.8 percent don't be a pervert <laughs> so, <laughs> so almost that says that randy brown wins this fight 70 percent of the time that's correct he does win corn pop is wrong and you're trying to pretend that you just came up with that number no me um, and corn pop are on the same page 72 percent and, and you made that's the indiana education for you anyway i think that's correct you don't think that's correct you don't think randy wins this 70 percent of the time he should yeah all right so <laughs> All right, go play some money line to bet on him then. Go ahead. I have it in a parlay. It's perfect. So do I. Why were you complaining? You literally said I don't trust him at these odds. Not for. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lay 260 to win 100, but I'll throw him in a little bit of a parlay. No problem if I get plus money on it. <laughs> sure. It's yeah, a lot no. different, Angelo. I'm only risking 50 bucks now, and I can win just that. as much. It makes See how that works. Yeah, yeah. Except put that... 260 on the money line to win 100. Mm -hmm. I put 50 on him and another guy to win 100 either way. So all I have to do is I'm still trusting him. Now I just got a little, another guy. See how I do that, Angel? See how it's, it's just that water? easy. It's, it's just that easy. easy. It I mean, this is an easy game. Okay. Great. You got me fired up a little bit. Yeah, no. Congratulations on the energy. So anyway, we're both on the same page here. 92 $100 in DraftKings, you think that's worth it? He's got to finish him to be worth that because he's not going to grapple. So he's not going to get the control times of the takedown. So it's really going to come down to can he finish him? He might finish him on the ground, honestly. I mean, Muslim was starting to grapple against Dolby when he he's getting stuff. hit. Yeah, yeah and, and if Randy Brown hits him and he takes a bad shot, Randy Brown has no issue grabbing up a neck. So Oh, he'll um, snap. He's long as hell. He'll just snatch right. things I wonder up. What the, uh, yeah, hold, hold please. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just sit here Excuse and me. plug Excuse premium. Me. I, I mean, was about to uh, complete silence plug the I thing the that character. keeps our lights on. Guys, you should become a premium member. In Please, all for the love First of all, God, become a premium member. It's only $10 a month. It's only $10 Holy a shit. month. You get picks, bets, round line leans from seven different analysts. Then you get tools like the line movement tracker, like the DraftKings optimizer, like the detailed data metrics and analytics. And during the break, again, no break for me. Premium, here's, here's, here's a quick little rant while he me looks neither. that up. There are people oh, out I there, they, they sell, there are other people selling premium. It's not ours, right? It's a Patreon with a list of like four or five bets, some nonsense like that. There's no tools or any of that. So already that's not a good deal. But what's going to make it an even worse deal, if you are paying for somebody's premium 
And on Sunday or next week, they don't have picks and bets up for the January 13th card, you are not getting your money's worth. We will. That whole website's going to full-blown flip to the next event, even if that's a few weeks away. That's my rant. We own picks.com. Click to become a member of the top. It's only 10 freaking dollars. Janky Boombaloots, what are the odds on the Randy Brown submission? Plus 375 is KO's plus 525. It's not that which, great. Yeah, which yeah. is a little bit interesting. I thought those would have been flipped just for um, the matchup, but I mean. Both these guys are decision kings. I mean, these guys are both just nonstop decisions, so. Ooh, it, maybe ooh, okay. Maybe an inside yeah. the distance decisional action of Randy Brown. Minus 160. That could be interesting. How is that better than his actual money line odds? Isn't that uh, because weird? Because he's a decision guy, as you mentioned. If he loses a decision, it's the refund. So there's no risk off for them. So usually the those bets are the odds are worse. They are worse. It's 160 compared to 260. That's better. 160 I know, is well, better. Well, they're yeah. Well, they're not. So you're saying that they're they're usually minus 300. If it's a, that's yeah, crazy it should talk. be minus 500 because it's a it's a refundable. That's crazy. Bet and they talk. don't think he's gonna. All right, anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. 